hello, welcome to One of Them My Fault once again. I'm doing an unboxing today for a new coffee machine. It's called the Jack Stonehouse 2-in-1 Grinder Drip Coffee Machine. So, I haven't opened it before, it just arrived this morning, so let's have a look. Let's get it open in the box. Basically, it's a fairly small coffee machine. It's, as it states on the title, it's a two-in-one, so not only can you use it as a normal filter coffee machine, but it'll also grind the beans for you as well, and do it all in one. So just put the beans in, it'll grind it, and then it'll filter the water through that and make a pot of coffee. It's only a small coffee, and it's four cups, so it's about two normal mug size. So it's actually quite a good size for me, but it means when I brew coffee, I'll have two mugs available. It's got a hot plate and a glass carafe, so it'll keep it nice and warm for about I think, half an hour before it auto shuts off. There we go, there's the instruction booklet for it. Put it back to one side for now. Let's carefully get this out of the box. To one side. Let's have a look, okay. Take the packaging off. Let's have a quick look. Right. Get the other package off. As I said, it's a fairly small compact coffee machine. But since it's got a built in grinder as well, it's a pretty good size. Let's take off the plastic wrap. Just nice and neatly. Right. So you can see it's a fairly very small carafe, which as it says it's four cups, so it says it's about two mug sizes made of glass or plastic. It has a measuring scoop there, which should be for beans and fresh coffee. So let's have a look. Right, let's get all this plastic wrap off here. Get rid of the bubble wrap. It's quite a nice looking machine. I'll show you that there. I'll show you that how it looks. That it is fairly small, compact, nice colour, just stainless steel and black. Fairly simple operation. You have, I'll show you there, you have a control start and a knob there you turn to use regular already ground coffee or ground the beans itself. So it doesn't seem to be many other options than that, that's fine. But on the side, is assume where you fill the water. Yeah, you can see that there is a fill mark in there for different amounts. So let's take this out. So that's the lid with part of the filter. So carefully take this out. That is then the rest of the filter. And as you can see inside, there is the grinder. Okay, pretty straightforward to be honest. Luckily, I have already bought some, ground, some coffee beans ready to go. So, let's get the cable ties off here. I need to get a quick rinse before I use it. Quick check in the book, anything I need to know. No, that's all important safeguards. Don't allow it to overheat, blah, blah, blah. So, there's um, basic information, how to use the system. Minimum max marks and so on inside, all pretty straightforward stuff. I don't really need to look a lot of it to be honest. That's no, that is it. There's nothing else I need to know. All right, so let's get this set up in the kitchen and give it a go. Okay, it's all set up. I've given it a quick wash and a rinse through as well. So hopefully it won't taste too plasticky or anything like that. Okay, so let's have a look at this actually working then. Okay, so inside, you probably can't see it, but inside there, there is a minimum and maximum, so you know how many how much coffee beans to actually put in. There's no strength setting, like some of these you can buy have different strength settings for how, obviously how much coffee you put in, and it will alter it, and some of them you can change how fine the grind is, but it's a fairly basic one, so it doesn't have that. So let's put it up to the maximum mark. Possibly could have used a bit of spoon, but I may as well use the scoop that actually came in with it. Okay, 
the generic coffee beans I've got from my local supermarket, Tesco, if you really need to know, but anyone not in the UK, you may not know what Tesco is. Okay, so this goes back in. So the whole, mm -hmm. you know, I'll show you coffee beans in there. The whole unit comes out for ease of cleaning, which is pretty good, because obviously you need to clean out all the coffee beans after each use. Okay, the side up, mm, flips open, pour the water in, as I said, inside there is minimum and maximum markings. It makes a maximum of four standard cups, or really two mugs of tricky. But we'll see how that stacks up once it's actually brewed. Okay, put that on the hot plate, close that up. You see, this part is actually a safety shut off, so if you don't have this attached, it will not actually operate. So, add on, slide it back so you can see it a little bit better. And see this off, fill the coffee and bean grinding. So let's put it on grinding beans and fingers crossed. Let's see just how loud it is and how long it takes. It's now finished grinding and it should now start the brewing process as well. As you know, it's heating up the hot plate, it's still a little bit damp from when I've actually rinsed it through and washed it. So it should start filtering coffee through any time now. So let's just give it a moment and see how long the whole brewing process actually takes. Obviously different machines take different amounts. I was actually picked this up from Amazon about two days ago. I was just Highly looking around at coffee machines. I've got a few. If you've seen my Instagram posts, I've got a few different coffee machines. I've got the Philips Sensio, which uses like little coffee pads, which I can show you while we're waiting for this. So Sensio uses coffee pads. Now there's two different sizes. These are the large ones for mug size. So you get various flavors and types, and you get smaller ones then for espresso that you can then use two for a regular size mug, so let's have a look if I've got any here. I've got lots of these, so you can see ones I picked up quite cheap for Amazon, I'm actually got from Poland, I believe. Let's open this up. It's a lot smaller than the mug size. You can see they're different size. And we have two different, so we got a small one there, fits in, and the large one for the large size. You can obviously use two of these in that to make a mug size or two standard size espresso cups. So you have those choices. So I have that. And I also have a Breville coffee maker which has a travel mug underneath it. It's just a normal filter machine. It only does enough for the one travel mug, but that is pretty good to be honest. And I also have an OXO cold brew system as well. But I may do something on that a little bit later if anybody's interested. It does take 24 hours to do the cold brew coffee, but it is quite an experience because it is slightly different to normal coffee. It's not as bitter and a slightly fruity flavour to it which is actually quite nice to be honest. It's a little bit strange because you end up with, it's kind of a, they call it a concentrate but it's still quite liquid. It doesn't sort of condense at all and go all syrupy or anything. It is just a little amount of coffee that you then add hot water and milk to to taste to obviously heat it up or use it with ice and make your cold coffee as well. So it's actually pretty good. It keeps for a couple of days in the fridge. Um, I said I may do a video on that later if anybody's interested. Now, as you can see, the coffee is brewing nicely. It's taken a nice amount of time. Obviously, we don't want it to be too quick or the coffee will be way too weak and really not very appetizing at all. But it seems to be brewing okay. It's not too noisy when it's brewing, which is quite good. So the only really noisy part was the grinding process itself. I did have a look at more expensive ones of this. I said this is the 
Jack Stone House one. I picked it up for around £30, which is probably about between $35 dollars $40 that's delivered. So it's actually not bad. I'll put a link in the description so if anybody is interested in it, they can pick it up from Amazon and I'll obviously put this review on Amazon as well. So we're just waiting for that now and we'll see just how many mugs it will actually fit in it. Okay, so it has now finished brewing, so let's just have a look at what the coffee looks like. The aroma is not bad, it smells a little bit different to normal filter, but obviously it would depend quite a lot on what beans you use. Okay, and how much is left? Not a lot left. It didn't quite fill it to max anyway, so I could potentially put a bit more water in it, but I'll probably just about get two months. Obviously, if you're having milk with it, you would get a little bit extra as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go sit down in the living room and see what it tastes like. So here we are, I've got my coffee. I'm sat in front of the TV. Best place to have coffee these days. With something, but there's never usually anything good on normal TV, so I don't watch normal TV, I only watch Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon, to be honest. So, well, see what it tastes like. It's really hot, but luckily, I only really like coffee really hot. I don't mind cold with flavouring, normal cold coffee, no, I can't do it, but coffee for me has to be hot, black and strong, so let's see what it tastes like. That's actually not bad at all, it's got really nice flavour, it's not too bitter, which is quite good, and it's quite good strength to it, so no, I actually quite like that. It's a slight more fresh flavour to it, when you get normal filter coffee it can be quite bitter and obviously I will always they always tell you you can only leave it in the cupboard or on the fridge for a certain number of days once you open it but nobody ever does that you don't necessarily drink it every day especially if you're like me you've got a few different types of coffee available I think it's probably better having the grind in it as you need it rather than having freshly ground in a bag sitting around for weeks on end and then using it so no I'm actually quite impressed it's a pretty good coffee machine for the price as well, as the price of well, it's pretty much a regular build a coffee machine, you can pick them up slightly cheaper than that for large ones. Obviously, they're a lot larger capacity, talking size 12 cups. I live by myself, I occasionally have the odd person over, but I've got several different coffee machines, so it's not usually a problem to be honest. Just for me to have two cups when I'm doing some else, playing computer games or making videos or whatever, having one cup and then having another one available straight away warm without having to brew again and clean anything out is going to be quite nice for me i'm actually looking forward to it so yeah thumbs up it's a pretty good machine for the price i'm actually quite impressed to be honest i'll see how long it lasts for i've seen a few comments saying it doesn't last very long and so on but i suppose it depends how you look after it the permanent filter in it is metal mesh so that should last better than some plastic ones i've seen they shouldn't discolor and taint the flavor as much as some of the plastic ones like i said i've got the the Breville one cup travel system and that uses a permanent plastic filter so I'm not sure how well that will last and why it's already discolored after just a couple of uses so we'll just have to see how this one snaps up against that and in a couple of weeks maybe I'll do a follow-up and see what it's like actually using it on a regular basis like I intend to so hope you enjoyed the video please feel free to comment subscribe and like and you know pass it on to other people share that would be most grateful. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.